Get in. We're doing motorcycle stuff. Oh, you're already in here. And this is my truck, not a bike. I get that. And I know what you're asking. But I'm super excited. I just got the phone call. My tour pack is in at Harley Davidson and Frederick. So we're going to go up and get it right now. All right, here we go. Can't wait, let's get on the road. We're going to get my stuff. Oh, like I said earlier, I am super excited. This is awesome. Uh, these parts only took like four weeks to come in, not six to eight, so yay. I'm like a kid on Christmas morning going to pick up my Harley parts. This is great. So ride along with me. After we do the pickup, we'll go ahead and get the tour pack put together and installed on the bike. Okay, let's pay attention to the road. This literally could not happen on a better day. I don't know if you can see there, but it's been threatening to rain all day. Of course we had to hit traffic, right? Let's hope this doesn't last too long. Ugh. Keep up the excitement. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. It's hard when there's a bunch of traffic. Who likes sitting in traffic? Raise your hand if you like sitting in traffic. Yeah, I didn't think so. Put your hand down. <laughs> While we're sitting here stuck in traffic, you know this combines two of my favorite things. Doing truck stuff, because I expect big boxes, and my Harley Davidson. Would it be a road reality moto vlog without some scenery? Check out this cloud pattern. Doesn't that look neat? That is super cool. I love it. I always aim to bring you the best scenery I can. Look at that. The clouds have mostly parted. And we're like half a mile away. This is awesome. Are you excited? Because I'm excited. Well, that looks ominous. You see what I'm seeing? But you see what else I'm seeing? We're here, folks. This is not the usual view you get when I pull up to this dealership, huh? All right, and we're here. All right, let's go inside, get these parts, huh? Here we go. It's quiet here today, huh? Oh, look who it is. What's up, Tim? Everyone say hi to Tim. Hey. Tim's a parts guy here at Harley Davidson and Frederick. Is that my stack? Oh man. Look at that. All right, let's see what we got here. We got our gloss black hinges. These, were, these are locks. I'm gonna blur that out. More hardware, what do we got here? It's like Christmas morning, antenna relocation kit. Cool. These are gonna be saddlebag liners. No, this is the wall organizer. That's cool. There's the mounting rack in a box. This is the liner, this is the tour pack itself. Outstanding. Is it like Christmas or what, folks? This is awesome. So Tim's gonna bag all this stuff up. Did you guys open the box, make sure there's no paint defects or yes, anything? we do every time. Awesome. We're good to go. We'll throw it in the truck, and then we're gonna head home. And Tim, can an idiot like me put this together? Yes. Does it require anything but basic hand tools? The hand tools and able to read the instructions. Able to read the instructions. All right, truck's packed up. Let's go home. Which way do you think I'm gonna go? Back roads or highway? Leave a comment below. I know you were expecting the back roads, but we're on the highway. It's like a 15 minute difference in time and I am too excited to get home. I wanna get this stuff unboxed and hopefully put together soon. So how cool is that, that they unbox everything and make sure it's all good before they call me, huh? That's really nice. I mean, I've got almost an hour drive to get up to that dealership. So to not have to waste a trip was really cool. So let's get home, make sure I have all the right tools, and I'm not too big of a moron to get this done. Probably the tool I'm missing is up here. <laughs> that and a 10 millimeter socket. <laughs> I guarantee you, well, it's not gonna need one of those. But yeah, dude, this is so exciting. I can't wait to get this stuff home and put together.
All right, stick around. We're going to do that next. I guess now that all the parts are here, I got to pay that credit card bill, huh? Well, folks, the moment has arrived. It's time to install the tour pack. But before we do, that whip antenna has got to be moved. Luckily, I've got the relocation kit for it. So let's get that installed and then we'll get the tour pack on. Through the magic of video editing, I'm going to stand up and that stuff will be installed. Ta da! Boy, that was a pain in the ass. But you can see it opens up, and inside I have the liner. And it's keyed to my bike. I got the saddlebags on. The antenna's been relocated, so hopefully it doesn't whip up. And there it's got the hinges. And for all that money, Harley does not supply plugs for those holes. So, I'm going on a mission. I'm going back to the dealer. I called them already. They sell plugs for it, since I'm not getting a passenger backrest. And yeah, let's go get on the road. One other thing, when you remove this saddlebag, you have access to the shock. Since I'm now carrying an extra 35-ish, 40 pounds, I bumped it up two clicks, and we're gonna see how it handles on the road. All right, let's go get geared up. And before I forget, quick release not so quick i ended up having to loosen these bolts this one on this side and the corresponding one on the other side just to get these things to lock in you can see the other one here but it's locked in it ain't going anywhere as you can tell all right let's go had my laptop bag in it with the laptop my camera gear and all the other stuff I usually carry with me all in here and the lid closes and when I get to my destination my half helmet fits right inside and I can close the lid lock it and walk away don't have to take the GoPro off or anything and that's quite handy so functionality gets a big thumbs up from me and what's this it's my final thoughts of course right, let's have a look back. I've now had it on the bike for over 200 miles. I've had a chance to use all of its little features and I can give a report on it. It's way overpriced. Let's get that out of the way. What amounts to a big plastic box that mounts to your bike and holds your stuff, it's way overpriced. But it's got the factory integration, Harley's fit and finish. It is a premium product. It looks a lot nicer than some of the aftermarket units I've seen. And I mean, it, there's no fitment issues. And like things like the wall organizer, it's really handy to hold little stuff like your keys and wallet, whatever. It's really freed up my saddlebags and I still have to put the saddlebag liners in. I haven't done that yet. In the meantime, I've gotten plenty of use out of the door pack. It fits my laptop bag with a laptop in it and all my camera equipment and generally everything else I carry except my coffee mug, which has started leaking if you saw that video. And I'm not really, I don't really want it to leak in my tour pack. Uh, but yeah, it, it's great. You know, the installation uh, could have been quite a bit easier. The antenna relocation kit is a pain in the butt. I mean, they, they just should have supplied an eight inch cable to extend the antenna wire, but they didn't. You have to run a whole new antenna wire through the back half of the bike. I really like the, the gloss black hardware. That stuff turned out real nice. Um, but no, I didn't know that the bottom of the tour pack has chrome pieces on it. So had I known that, uh, I probably would have just left the chrome hardware chrome instead of replacing it. Um, but yeah, I'm, you know what? I'm super happy with it. It sort of makes me wish that I'd bought a limited to begin with because at the end of all this, I'm gonna have a tour pack and probably before the winter is out, heated grips on this bike, at which point I'm like three quarters of the way to a limited, I think. I don't know. Let me know if I'm wrong in the comments below. But yeah, that's gonna wrap up the tour pack review. I'm super happy with it. I don't think it's ever coming off. I'm just gonna get way too much out of it. So anyway, I'm gonna leave this video here. If you enjoyed this content, give it a like. 
If you got anything out of it, please leave a comment below, let me know, and please consider subscribing. Until I see you again, keep the shiny side up.